How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you didn't know, this is my 2006 Jaguar XJ8. And yes, I'm already working on it. So I fell in love with this car, decided I wanted to keep it. And uh, I drove it to work and I noticed that the car was starting to get up in temperature. So I decided to hook up my scan tool to it and I noticed it's actually getting up higher than I thought. So I decided to take it off the road, start doing some research and figure out what it could be. So the first thing I did was swap out a cap because they had them at the store and it was like eight bucks. So I did that uh, and that didn't fix it. It did help, but it did not fix it. Uh, and then I realized I didn't have heat. So what I did was went ahead and swapped out the auxiliary pump that's down there. And I found a Bosch one for like 70 bucks on Amazon and it was a direct replacement. All I had to do is pull the rubber uh, mounting piece off and mounted that up. I'll leave a link to that guys because that could be an issue you have too. Once I swapped that out, I still had some overheating issues and the research I did uh, said that the thermostat housing, the back side of it, the octopus part, could be disintegrating. And sure enough, I took it out and noticed the plastic was starting to fall apart. Gaskets were starting to disintegrate. And so I got online and ordered one. I ordered a pretty cheap one, but it is a direct swap. I've already tested it all out and that's what it looks like. And it came with a thermostat for like 70, 80 bucks. I can't remember, but I will leave a link uh, there are better quality ones out there. You can buy OEM replacements if you're looking at a very long term. Uh, I just want to see if we can get this car to stop overheating at the moment. So I thought it might be a pretty easy, quick job, uh, but it ended up turning into a long job and it didn't need to be. So I wanted to fill you guys in here. So I wanted to get to the back side where the engine block was just so I could make sure there's no pieces jammed up in there. And I was able to blow everything out, vacuum everything out. But to get to that part, because you can see there's some torch bolts back there up underneath uh, the throttle body back housing here. So first thing I did was remove the front side of the throttle body, which there is a gasket in there, so make sure you don't drop that. Uh, that was pretty easy. Took off some plugs, etc. Also took off our air box to get to it. And then I couldn't figure out how to get to these bolts because you've got this contraption up in there and it's just really difficult to get in there. I had a hell of a time and I got them off, but it was not an easy task, let me tell you. Now I realize this piece comes completely apart and gets bolted in separately. So there are four Torx bolts that go on to this thing on each side. So you've got two here and two there. You can unbolt those and remove that part of the housing. So if you just have a problem with this part of the housing falling apart or even your temperature uh, sensor that's here, which mine's bad, uh, it'll come with a replacement if you buy this housing. If you need to do that, you can just unbolt those, pull this whole thing out, push the new one in and you're good to go. And I wish I would have known that. Now I did want to get to the block, so I'm glad that I got everything out. But you can also take those four bolts off first and you can access your four eight millimeter bolts that attach, attach this housing so then you can get to uh, your Torx bolts down there. So that made it way easier when putting this back together because I just got this part back on. Now I'm gonna put this piece back on, put our throttle body back on, air intake, all that stuff, and we'll be able to start the car up. Fingers crossed, I think this was our corporate, because obviously I found pieces of plastic caught up in the system and we got all those out. I back flushed everything. I think we're gonna be good guys. So just wanted to fill you in. It wasn't a thing I planned on filming, but I know there's people out there that are gonna have to do this to their XJ8 and there's not a whole lot of info or at least videos out there showing you how to do this. So hopefully this helps at least one person out and I will upload this for you guys. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week and I'll catch you on the next video.